the most powerful skill you can learn, goal setting. Learning how to set goals properly is arguably the most powerful skill that you can possibly learn. Why? Because it will allow you to then accomplish a huge range of other goals. When you know how to set goals, it allows you to effectively work toward anything. This is the key to unlocking pretty much everything you can want from life. So ironically, the first goal you should focus on is the goal of setting goals. And until now, you've probably been doing it all wrong. The problem with your current goals. How can a goal be wrong? Sure, any objective is a worthwhile one, but the way that you phrase your goals and structure them is going to massively change your likelihood of finding success. Let's take weight loss as an example, because it's one of the most straightforward goals that is easiest to implement. When you set out to lose weight, you should start with a concrete goal, and for most people, this will look something like this. Lose two stone by next year. This is a terrible goal. Why? Well, first of all, it is far too vague. How are you losing weight? Weight from where? Why do you want to lose a weight? What do you actually want to look like? At the same time, it's out of your control. Even if you are completely committed to your goal, you may find that outside forces prevent you from being successful. Maybe you get ill. Maybe you accidentally follow the wrong program. Maybe it turns out you have a bad metabolism. Finally, the goal is too far in the future. If your goal is to lose weight by next year, that then essentially gives you a license to procrastinate. The target is so far away that you indulge yourself in a little overeating or put off exercise for a while and not worry about it until next month. Six months pass and you realize you're actually further from your goal. And because it's too late, you're likely to just give up at this point. Not a good goal. What good goals look like? So what does a good goal look like? How might you phrase this same objective in a manner that will increase your chances of success? The first thing to do is to focus on things that are immediately within your control and that are not influenced by outside factors at all. These goals should be things that you can accomplish in a guaranteed manner and that you will be immediately graded on on a pass-fail basis. So for instance, instead of aiming to lose two stone by next year, you would use this goal. I will work out three times a week every week for at least 15 minutes. Now that is a goal that you can aim for. Regardless of your metabolism, or of injury, or of any other outside factor, this is a goal that you can accomplish. It also means you can't put off the goal, and it means you'll never reach that disappointing point where you can no longer stand any chance of completing it. And at any point in your life, there is no reason that you can't set out to accomplish this goal and expect to be successful. But by focusing on this small, short-term goal, you will then find that the long-term goal of losing the weight takes care of itself. How to formulate your goals. But that doesn't mean that any short-term goal that is binary in nature is going to cut it. First of all, you need to know what you want and make sure that the goal you are setting for yourself is going to help you get there. You need your goals to be intrinsically motivating, and that means that you have to feel truly passionate about them. It's only by following a goal you really feel excited about that you will find you have the energy and motivation to keep going. Working out for 15 minutes a day is an effective goal because it is sure to take you closer to your broader goal of losing weight. By keeping that end goal in mind, you should stand a better chance of staying motivated to work out, even when you're feeling tired or when you're feeling low on willpower. And you shouldn't just be aiming to lose weight either. Instead, you should have a more concrete vision of what this entails. Do you want to be thinner? Do you want to be more muscular? Why do you want that thing? Is it so that you will be more attractive to the opposite sex? Or because you want more energy? Be honest with yourself and listen to that drive inside that is pushing you toward the goal you want to accomplish. If your goal is to make money, then try to focus on what the emotional hook is that is making you want that money. It likely boils down to more than cash. Maybe it's status you really want, power, confidence, freedom. Only by really understanding the true nature of your own dreams can you A, take the fastest route to accomplishing them, and B, maintain the drive and motivation you're going to need to get there. This is going to require some soul-searching. Moreover, you need to ensure that the goals are achievable and realistic, and that you have broken them down into small enough steps. 
Case in point, our goal for weight loss is to work out 15 minutes per day. That's a tiny amount, but it works because it's achievable and realistic. If you make your goal harder, such as working out for an hour a day, then you're going to find you're quickly disappointed when you can't find the time or the energy. You'll put off the exercise and make excuses. The best part about training for just 15 minutes is that once you start, you'll often find you go for longer. Put it this way, it's much better to have a small, easy-to-accomplish goal and stick with it than it is to have a massive, life-changing goal that you can't manage. But of course, if you're making your goal smaller, that means that it will take you longer to reach the eventual destination you're gunning for. This is not a problem. This is just another thing you need to accept if you want to accomplish anything. Things worth having take time. Take small, steady steps and enjoy the journey. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.